Hi there. Right, hello, 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 hello. I'm Lisa from So Arty. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. Lovely to see you. Uh, welcome to my channel. If you're an old timer, welcome back. If you're new, thanks for popping over. Please like, subscribe, and there's another one. Comment. Yeah, please comment. If there's anything you want to ask me, please do. I may not know the question. I know. I may not know the answer to that question, but I will try and find out. And I'd love to do more tutorials. So tell me what you want me to do. So I'm quite new to cry cut, or actually called cricket. I'm quite new to cricket, and I have a cricket maker. Um, so today we will be making this. I have just put my dog's name on her lovely little bowl using Design Space. Um, I don't know if I said cricket or cry cut, but it's actually called cricket. I don't know why us English say cry cut. But it is cricket, it's pronounced cricket, the Americans say cricket, and it is definitely cricket. But sometimes I say cry cut, and I apologise for that if it offends anyone. Her dog bowl was just plain and boring. Plain and boring, plain and boring. So I thought it'd be a good idea just to put her name on it, you see? So I'll go and get her now, actually, and see if I can get hold of her. Wait just there. She's not coming. It's just not coming, but I'm sure she will come in a minute. Here you come. Here she comes. Say hello to everyone. You're so lovely, aren't you? Yes, you are. This is your new bowl. So, this is her new bowl. Let's get into it. So, measure your bowl. Measure your area that you want. So, this is seven inches by just over two so as long as I fill that up it's absolutely fine so I open up design space and click rectangle unlock the square and you can stretch it to a rectangle I didn't want black, so just change it to white. Then open up a font and choose whatever you want. I choose um, the first one and just put in the name. And you know you just need to centre it, so it's a little bit fiddly. But it, it, it looks good, it looks good. And make the, make it a bit bigger just by stretching it out. And select the whole thing and then attach it together. And then it changed colour. And then you can move it around like one big piece. So, unattach it and then just select the word which is Luna in this case. The reason why I did that is because eventually I will actually delete the rectangle that's behind it. I don't want that on the bowl. So I just thought I'd decorate it with a few hearts. And so just twist them round and make them a bit smaller so they would fit on. And I just duplicated it, it's quite easy, turn them around, duplicate it again to get the same heart all the way around. So also I think it'd be nice in a different colour and not and not white. So I chose purple. I don't actually know I didn't at the time actually know what colour I was gonna do it in. So I select them all and change it to purple. So I had a few more hearts. I was just experimenting. And I'm not sure really what, what I was doing. But 
it's nice to just see how many hearts I can fill in that area. So to duplicate the heart again, because this one's slightly smaller, and then turn it around. And then I notice that that one needs to be lifted up a little higher. I just think one, one more for the middle. Oh, I accidentally did that. I duplicated the actual rectangle. So you can just press the undo button. It's quite easy. And uh, I duplicated the heart. I changed my mind on here. I don't think I want another heart. But I, I, I thought it might be nice. But I think it's over. I can't do it symmetrical because the L is in the way. So I'll just delete it. So here I just selected the rectangle and just X'd it and that deleted it. So you've just got that, that bit there. So I selected the whole thing and then attached it together. So here I just wanted to make, it was, make sure it was the right uh, measurement. So I put in seven and then I put in two and I know it's slightly changed but I just needed to make sure that it did actually uh, or would actually cover the bowl which it did. So put it through the maker. I chose my vinyl, chose pink in the end. And here we go. finished now. Took it out and as you can see you can kind of see Luna. So took the vinyl off the and cut out the Luna from the vinyl. So you have to use um, book covering. That's all I did. I didn't buy anything special from Cricut. I just bought some cheapest book covering on Amazon. Uh, just took the top layer of the vinyl off and used a little tool that came with the, the Cricut machine to get the circly thingy out of the A. There you go. So here's the book covering I use, cheap, cheapest chips. Um, I think it was about five pound for quite a few meters. So you only need a little bit at a time. So just cut around it, cut the area you want. It helps because it's all squared out. And I'll take it off the back in, and then just put it over the top of the personalization. Now this is the tricky bit. So now you just need to get it on the book covering. So you have to have a little tool or something to help you. Because uh, you can't just take it off and it all comes off. It just needs a little bit of help, a little bit of persuasion to come onto the book covering. It's just nice. and I did speed this bit up, but it is actually quite slow. You can't rush it. So here we go. Nearly done. So get the bowl. I had to prop it up with some scissors and some some tools I have, and just line it up, nice and straightish, and it goes straight on. Lovely. I mean, look at that. The L's just gone on. So you have to put it on and know where you're putting it. You can't undo that a bit. So once it's down, it's down. 
that heart was a little bit crooked but all nice smooth it all out pat it all down and pretty much it would just come off straight away just like that and all done and all finished and there you go there's my dog bowl with her name on it see you next time bye for now